Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. A little jealous of everybody that's at Tinley, but I'm not there, obviously. And if you're watching this, you're probably not there either. I couldn't fit into the budget to go, but that's okay because I have a lot of snakes here that need my attention. They need cleaning consistently and feeding, so it's probably a good thing I didn't go up there for three or four days to hang out and spend a bunch of money when I got to spend money on everything in this room. But some of you guys wanted to see the red tails, uh, boas. So let's take a quick look at uh, those. So one of them is in shed, but we can look at her very quickly. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys are probably already typing away that this is not a true red tail. And you are correct. This is a common boa. This is a boa that you would see if you stepped out anywhere, possibly in Central America, but definitely in South America, if you walked out into the rainforest, you would see a ton of these. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with a common boa. I think they're very pretty snakes. Uh, this is no head for anything. It's no morphs. This is as basic and as natural of a boa as, as you would really see in the wild. So, you know, if, if anybody's looking for a really good pet snake, getting into boas or just wants something that's not expensive, like most of the morphs, uh, a boa like this probably would run you about 75 bucks, maybe 125. If you go to PetSmart, they might be a lot more, but I would definitely try to find a breeder or a morph market. Most of the time when people come up with the commons, they're breeding one morph to another uh, and somehow maybe a common will pop out. And most breeders don't want them because they don't fit into a breeding plan. So you can definitely haggle with the price on them. And if you can get one of these for under a hundred bucks, that's a great deal because they are very docile. They're great eaters. And it's a good introduction to get into boas, I think. That's how I got into them. Uh, this is my very first boa. And since then, I've definitely went off the cliff on, on buying a, a lot more. But this girl is still really gorgeous. I do have a lot of nice morphs. But I still really like to look at her and appreciate the simplicity of one of these animals. So we can see she has really nice patterns, really nice saddles on her. And I really like her tail and the tail pattern on her. So it's more of a rusty red. And we can see somewhat that there's a little bit of iridescence on her with the lighting. So um, a lot of people, like if you go to PetSmart or, or a local pet store, sometimes if you go to a reptile show, these will be labeled as a, as a uh, red tail. But uh, in reality, it's that's just a pet trade name. And so be, be warned. The internet is a very tough place to be. If you buy a common and you go on Facebook, Reddit, or wherever, and you want to show it off and you say, look at my new red tail, be prepared to get beat up because a lot of people on there will be the first to tell you, that's not a red tail. That's a common boa. You should know the difference, blah, blah, blah. It is it is what it is. They have different bloodlines. They look different. Like 99% of all your morphs came from a common bloodline back in the day. There's really no mixing red tails with hypos or IMG or anything like that that I know of. Um, there's just really not a market for it. But we'll go ahead and we will look at the true red tail right now. Okay, so this is a true red tail. This is a Guyana, so it's a locality snake. Uh, there's a couple other true locality red tails, the Guyana, the Cyrenae, the Peruvians. There are other ones. Those are just the most popular ones. And the biggest way you can tell that if it's a true red tail versus a common is that beautiful blood red tail right there. So when commons are babies, they do have a red tail, but they're not like a blood red. So these ones do, as babies, do have a very, very red tail. And as they get older, the tail gets redder and redder and stays very, very red. There we go. And very, very bright whites and dark blacks around the, uh, around the tail. So very beautiful. And then on them, they turn more of a rusty red. And this girl does not like to sit still. So you can see on the saddles, they're kind of a puzzle piece or a Batman uh, configuration. Whereas the commons are just kind of like lines with, with spear tips on them. But if you really want to get into the expensive red tails where they're like line bread and um, 
you know, very, very nicely bred over the generations, you're probably going to spend at least a thousand bucks on a really, really good one. But you can pick up a good Guyana or a Sierra Nam at a reptile show for probably like 300 bucks or 400. But again, you can always haggle with the, with the seller most of the time. And then they're a lot lighter on their body than the commons. And then sometimes they do have some, uh, some nice pinkish hue to them, but it really just depends on the age and stuff like that. So I would say either one is, is really nice. So if you go down to Guyana, uh, and you're walking around down there, you might see one of those and you might see one of these. So really, really beautiful snakes and you cannot go wrong with either one. But again, most of the morphed snakes do come from that bloodline right there. So the Serenam, I do have a Serenam, and unfortunately she is in shed, but we will look at her very, very quickly. We'll not disturb her too much. So her colors are all washed out because she is in shed. But we can see that she does have a very nice red tail on her. And it is very red when she's not in shed. And then we can see somewhat of her saddles. Um, kind of like puzzle pieces. Not as pronounced as uh, the Guyana, but nonetheless, they are beautiful snakes. So I would say if you're new into buying boas and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would buy a common because you know, everybody knows what they look like and they're just a very fantastic, uh, really nice snake to have. But that's it guys, just wanted to show you guys uh, the red tails and the not red tail because <laughs> it's what you guys have requested. And uh, we'll look at some of the other snakes in the next video. So I appreciate you guys uh, stopping on by and supporting the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video.